Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood what is Bootstrap, how to download Bootstrap, how to add Bootstrap to our website, Bootstrap text formatting classes, text size classes, text color classes, background color classes, heading classes, text alignment classes, text transform classes, image classes and bootstrap list classes. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss bootstrap table related classes. We understand how to work with tables in bootstrap step by step guys. You can see that at the desktop, we have my dash website folder. I open it. Inside my dash website folder, we have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to bootstrap demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to bootstrap demo. In the body section, I am going to create a table guys. I say here opening table tag, closing table tag. Inside the opening table tag, I am going to add T head section. So I say T H E A D opening T head closing T head that indicates the table head section and then I say here opening T body closing T body that indicates table body section and then I say here T foot tag closing T foot tag that indicates table footer section guys in the table head section I am going to add a row opening TR closing TR inside this table row I am going to add table heading cells I say opening TH closing th inside that I put the text some text I'm going to copy this and paste three times one two three I copy this row paste in the table body section replace th with td opening td closing td opening td closing td opening td closing td opening td closing td and then I copy this table row and paste here one two three four times I paste one row in the footer also. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. So that's how our table looks guys. Let's understand bootstrap table related classes. First we have table class. It sets the table width to 100% and adds bottom border to all table rows. Table class sets the table width to 100% and adds bottom border to all table rows for example if i come to opening table tag and use the class called as table if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the table got 100% width and it has added the bottom border to all the rows of this table right that's cool next we have table dash striped class table dash striped class sets the light gray background color to alternative rows of the table body section okay it sets the light gray background color to alternative table rows which are present in the t body tag guys for example if i say here table dash striped striped if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that here this row got the light gray background color and then there is no background color set here again light gray background color no background color light gray background color right so that is what the table dash striped class does so you can display the striped tables guys next we have table dash bordered class it creates the table with border guys for example if i remove the stripe and say bordered if i say file save go to browser and refresh now you can see that our table has border right that is what the table dash bordered class does next we have table dash borderless class it creates a table without border guys table dash borderless class creates a table without border for example if i say here border less if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border is removed right we have a borderless table next we have next we have table dash hover class it adds the hover effect to 
into rows of the table body tag. Okay, it adds the hover effect to rows which are present in the T body tag, guys. For example, if I remove this and say here hover file save go to browser and refresh. Now when I move the mouse over the rows, you can see that they are getting highlighted with the light gray background color, right? Simple. That's what the table dash hover class does. Next we have table color related classes we have. We can display the tables with color guys with the help of table dash primary, table dash secondary, table dash success, table dash info, table dash warning, table dash danger, table dash dark, table dash light classes. So let's see here if I say table dash primary, if I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that now our table has the blue background color. If I come here and change this to warning and say file, save, go to browser and refresh, it has the yellow background color guys, right? We can also set the background color to only table heading row guys with the help of table heading row color related classes. We have table dark and table light class. For example, if I say here in the opening t head tag i say class of table dash dark if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see the table heading row got the dark background color and automatically the text is getting displayed in the white color guys so that is how you can work with tables in bootstrap guys i hope you guys have clearly understood bootstrap table related classes i suggest you people to Try whatever we discussed in this video tutorial. Try to remember all the classes. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Bootstrap 5. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.